printer performance in Jonas Encore depends upon the settings within Windows. Each preparation printer requires configuration settings on each workstation. These printers can be set up via print server and added to each workstation locally via shared printer directory. However, it is recommended that you add each prep printer to each POS workstation directly using the TCP slash IP configuration. Before you begin setting up your prep printers in Jonas Encore, ensure that all prep printers installed on each workstation use the printer manufacturer's window print driver, not the Windows generic text driver. Ensure that all prep printers that are to be used by more than one workstation are named and addressed the same in Windows. Set the prep printer's preferences, cut paper, paper size, etc. in the Windows Printer Preferences section before starting Jonas Encore. The first thing you want to do is configure the printer preferences for Windows before starting Jonas Encore. We will use an Epson printer for this example. Note that other make and models may have different instructions to configure the same setting. Access your printer via Control Panel and go to the Printer Properties, General, Preferences, and Layout screen to create a custom paper size up to the maximum length. Change the paper size to user-defined paper size. Name a new paper size called Max Length or similar and make the paper length the maximum. Select OK and make sure that the paper size on the Layout tab is set to the new paper size that you just created. After you have adjusted your Windows printer preferences, you can configure your printers in Jonas Encore. Note that each chip printer requires configuration settings on each workstation to print without configuration issues. In the Printers program, select New to add a new printer, or select an existing printer to review or make edits to it. Use the description field to enter a name for the printer with a max of 30 characters. For example, kitchen printer, hot printer, etc. Select the printer icon next to the printer name field and double click on the printer you want to add for this printer configuration. Once selected, the printer name and server name fields will be filled in. Optionally set an override prep form and or fire form if it differs for this printer than what is configured in the sales areas program. Assign a printer type for this printer. These printers are hard-coded into the software and setting a printer type is optional. Make sure Active is flagged so that this printer can be used within Jonas Encore. If you have any printer group set up, use the Printer Groups tab to flag any eligible printer group that this printer should belong to. Printers can also be added to groups in the Printer Groups program. Once you have finished configuring the settings for this printer, select Save and repeat this process to set up any additional printers as needed. In the Printer Groups program, you can optionally set up printer groups. Printer groups can be used to classify groups of printers into separate areas. They can also be used to send print jobs to a group of printers all at once. Select New to add a new printer group, or select an existing group to review or make edits to it. Use the description field to enter a name for the group with a max of 30 characters. For example, hot or cold. Make sure active is flagged so that this group can be selectable within the printers program. Use the printers tab to flag any eligible printers that should belong to this group. Once you are satisfied with the group settings, select save and repeat this process to set up any additional printer groups that are required. Within the workstations program and in the point of sale tab, define the chip printer for this workstation. If the chip printer is set to use the Windows default printer, then the printer does not need to be set up in Encore. Typically, chip printers are set up as the Windows default printer on POS workstations. In scenarios where you have a wireless POS workstation or a POS workstation without a connected receipt printer, you would want to select a network printer for this workstation. If you made any adjustments, don't forget to save. If your club is utilizing the online ordering module, Note that the prep printers involved in directly receiving orders from the POS online ordering module must be set up on the Jonas Encore server, like all other POS workstations. If the Jonas Encore server cannot successfully send a chip to the required prep printers from within Jonas Encore POS, an online order will also fail. Printers must then be linked to sales item groups. 
This defines where sales items and sales item categories attached to the group will print. Printers can be overridden for a sales item category and for individual sales items. In the Prep Printing tab, right-click in the table area to add a new row. Set the source type to Sales Area or Workstation. Then select the applicable Sales Area or Workstation in the Source Selection column. We recommend mapping each applicable sales area separately as your club may have some areas that you do not need or want a prep printer for, such as member events, banquets, snack bar, etc. Set the printer slash display type to an individual printer, a printer group containing multiple printers, or a KDU, which is a kitchen display unit. Next, select the print slash display selection column accordingly. The options listed here will be based off your selection in the printer slash display type column. The start and end time as well as day of week columns will default for you, but you can update these as needed. This indicates when this printer will be used. Repeat this process to add any additional sales areas or workstations that are required for the sales item group. Once you have made all of your adjustments, select Save. If the club will be printing to specific printers, such as hot items to the hot printer and cold items to the cold printer, you only need to link printers at the category level and override on individual items if needed. Printers can be overridden in the Sales Item category. In the Prep Printing tab, enable Override Sales Item Group settings. Add each applicable printer, printer group, or KDU and fill in all of the columns for each row. Then make sure to save your changes. A Prep option, also known as a modifier, will print where its linked sales item category prints. However, if the modifier has a prep printer associated with it that is different than the sales item it is added to, the sales item will print there as well. For example, Caesar salad is set to print to the cold printer. The modifier add chicken is set to print to the hot printer. The sales item and modifier will print to both the hot and cold printers. If needed, printers can be overridden for a sales item. For example, the appetizers category is set to go to the hot printer, but shrimp cocktail needs to go to the cold printer. In the POS tab and the prep printing sub tab, enable override sales item category settings. Add each applicable printer, printer group, or KDU, and fill in all of the columns for each row. Then go ahead and save once you've made your adjustments. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos, and don't forget to subscribe.